Hey folks, so a while back my buddy lent me his old iPhone. Excited as I was to dive into it, bam, I hit the notorious iPhone lock to owner message. You know, that pesky iCloud activation lock, man, was that a buzzkill? But after some digging and experimenting, I found some legit ways to get rid of it. And guess what? Today, I'm sharing the scoop with you all. So whether you've got an iPhone, an iPad, or even an Apple Watch with this issue, I've got multiple tricks up my sleeve to help you out. Let's dive in and untangle this mess together. Keep in mind, this info is for folks who truly own their device and just forgot their login details. We're not here to help with stolen stuff or break any rules. We're playing by YouTube's rules too. All right, diving straight into it. I, um, if you've been in a pickle, like my cousin Jamie last summer, stuck with an iPhone he'd inherited and couldn't access because of that pesky lock to owner message, you'll be glad to know there are solid solutions out there. Now, purely for the sake of education, let's chat about some top-notch tools out there. First up, we've got Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. I've heard some great feedback about it, especially when it comes to user friendliness. Jamie tried it and was amazed at how intuitive it was. Then there's Safe Unlocks, a name that's been floating around for its reliability. Also, if you're looking for something tried and tested, Locked to Owner is a good shout. Last but not least, I Unlock app a real game changer according to some pals. But hey, while these are super helpful, always keep in mind to use them responsibly. Education's the key here, not skirting around the law. Stay tuned though, because next up, we'll dive deep into how to make the most of Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. You won't wanna miss it. However, the unlock services mostly work in first world countries. So if you're finding it hard to access them or maybe you're not keen on using them, we've got a little something for you. Every week, we're giving away 250 unlocks to our awesome viewers. Want in? It's simple, like this video. Hit that subscribe button, drop a comment with your device model, like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've done these steps, you're automatically entered. Easy, right? Let's get you unlocked. All right, so you're looking to unlock your device using unlockhere.com, a nifty AI assistant powered web app. Let's walk you through the process step by step. Start by opening up your browser, either on your phone or computer, and head to unlockhere.com. Once you're there, you'll be greeted by Nifty, a helpful AI bot. Let Nifty know you're aiming for an iCloud unlock by selecting the activation lock option. Now specify what device you're unlocking. Most of you might have an iPhone, but hey, if you've got an iPad or an Apple Watch, that's cool too. Just pick your device from the list. Next up, you need to punch in the IMEI or serial number. If you're thinking, what's the difference? Here's a quick rundown. Every iPhone comes with an IMEI. iPads and Apple Watches can have them too, but only if they support SIM cards. If not, they'll just have a serial number. Unsure where to find this? Just hit the sleep button on your lock device, press it again, and tap the little I icon on the bottom right. Voila, there's your device info. With that details, you need to input that here. Moving on, plug in some basic details so the system knows it's you. Make sure it's accurate because you'll get a confirmation code in your email. And yep, you're gonna need that. Once you've added your details, give those terms a look over, make sure you're cool with them and confirm you're not trying anything shady with a stolen device. Then solve this quick captcha, making sure you are not a robot, which I think you are not. And of course, hit start process. Keep an eye on your inbox because there's an email headed your way. If you don't see it, might want to peek in the spam or junk. Sometimes it gets a little lost. Once you've got it, grab that confirmation code. Hop back to unlock here and swiftly enter the code. Then shortly prove you're not a robot and don't miss to tap the button to validate info. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info. 
making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Another way to tackle that lock is by getting in touch with Apple support. How? Well, if you've got the original invoice of the device, you're in luck. That's your golden ticket. Just give Apple support a call or chat with them online. Show them the invoice to prove that you're the legit owner. They'll guide you through the rest of the unlocking process. On the flip side, if you're thinking of a DIY route, you can give resetting the Apple ID a whirl. Head over to Apple's official website and look for the forgot Apple ID or password option. Click on it and follow the on-screen instructions. It'll take you through some steps to help reset your Apple ID. And with that, you might be able to bypass that lock. Now let's dive into another method that might work for you. Stick with me. So another trick is using iCloud Unlock software. But let's get some things straight first. You see, this software can be a lifesaver, but it needs a Windows computer to run. So if you're on a Mac or without a PC, this might not be your go-to. Now, diving into the world of unlocking software, there's a whole bunch out there, but heads up, not all of them do the job. And here's a biggie. Always be cautious when downloading stuff. You don't want to accidentally snag some malware along with your unlocker, but hey, if the idea of downloading things gives you the jitters, no worries. Online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks have got your back. The cool part, they work their magic without needing any downloads. Just hop online and you're good to go. All right, moving on to another nifty way to get you unlocked. Next is unlinking that device from the seller's account. Ask the previous owner to help you out with this. It's pretty straightforward. Here's what they need to do. Head over to iCloud.com and log in with their iCloud details. Once they're in, click on Find iPhone. In there, they'll find a list of devices linked to their account. They just need to pick the one you're trying to unlock. Now there's a button labeled erase. When they click on it, it'll wipe the device clean. But hey, there's one more step. They should spot another button that says remove from account. Clicking that ensures your device is completely free from their iCloud ties. Doing this can really help in getting your iPhone back in action. Cool, right? That's it for today's tutorial. We hope you got what you need. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.